This is Eugene and Rich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we're going to replace a cracked laptop screen on a Sony Vio EA series laptop. On the front of this laptop, you'll see uh, down here VPCEA, and sometimes there'll be some numbers or letters after it, but it's a EA series laptop. Okay, um, the first thing we need to do, and this is especially important for Sony laptops, is remove the battery before we do anything. So to remove the battery, there's one sliding lever that locks it and unlocks it when you slide it down, and another one that says release, you push it down, and then you tilt the battery up, and then you remove the battery. Okay, now that we moved the battery, then we can safely work on the laptop. We can safely open up this laptop. All right, the first thing we need to do to get to the screen is to remove four screws that are holding the plastic frame around it, also known as the bezel. And the screws are hiding between, behind some rubber pads. So let's look at the tools we're going to need for this job. We're going to need a X-Acto knife with a pointed end, a pair of metal tweezers, an electronics screwdriver with a PH zero bit and a larger PH one bit and some sort of frying tool. This is a special plastic frying tool to open up the bezel, but you can use a guitar pick for this or a butter spreading kitchen knife for this also. So the first thing we need to do is remove the rubber pads. Now these laptops come in all sorts of fun different colors, so but most likely your laptop will be a different color, but that's okay. Okay, so we remove the rubber pads, and what I like to do with them is put it on the bezel so that we don't lose it later on. And as you can see, we use our exacto knife for this job. Once we do that, we use our screwdriver to remove the four screws. For this one, I'll use a PH1 bit. So, for these screws, once you remove them, I like to keep them, each set of screws, in a separate pile so it's easier to keep track. Now, the screws on the bottom are a little bit harder to get to, so you have to tilt the screen back all the way. And you use a little bit of force so that you don't strip the screw before you can, before it starts to move. So we're going to do the same thing here. Actually, for Sony's, it's not as much of a problem. They're not as tight. The HP screws can get really tight sometimes. All right, so once the screws are removed, we're going to remove the plastic bezel. And what I like to do is use my fingers and go on the side of the screen and gently start prying up. And listen for the snapping sounds. I don't hear the snapping sounds right away. So we just keep going around until we hear those snapping sounds and just kind of work the bezel off. And if that doesn't work, we use our prying tool and then um, try going around the outside. So that seems to work pretty well. So keep trying different things until something works. This is probably the hardest part of the job. So take your time on this and try not to break the bezel. Okay. So we got the top off. Next we want to get the bottom off. 
and here it is the bezel is off so we're going to put it on the side now there's some tricks to this screen that other laptops don't have so we'll go through it one by one first of all most screens the screen is mounted by screws on the side of the screen but this is a newer type of slim screen where the screen is mounted by screws on the front of the screen and for this Sony Bio, these screws are hiding behind some tape, some black tape. So we take the tape off and it uh, reveals the screws. And I like to use the tweezers to take it off. So two screws. And let's see. Get to here. Okay, the third screw. Now let's get to the last one. Okay, so like so. All right, so we have four screws and. We need to tilt the screen back a little bit so that the screen just doesn't fall down and start removing the four screws. One, two, three, and Okay, we can drop that in. Let's see, we found it right here. Okay, so once we remove the four screws, we slowly tilt the screen forward. There will be some adhesive, so you have to use a little bit of force to release it. And going carefully, make sure we don't break anything. And we put it down. Okay, so here comes the next trick. This there's only one connector, which is right here. Let's loosen it up the cable a little bit so we have more room to play with. And there's some cushioning adhesive tape on the back of the screen to cushion the impact from the screen and in order to get to the connector we have to lift up this tape and we start from the corner with our exacto knife and we're going to need this tape later on so don't damage it we'll try not to damage it at least okay this side Hard to get started, so we're gonna try. All right, so what we're gonna do is lift up this tape. It's a foamy type of tape, so we lift it up like so, and put it so that the adhesive side doesn't touch anything because we're gonna put it back on. Okay, and it's being held by some tape here, that's why I can get the other side off. So we remove this tape first, and then we'll try to lift up the foam tape to see if we can get a good spot to lift it up. Okay, and it's going. So when you lift it up, you don't want to see any of the tape left on the bottom. Otherwise, there will be no adhesive left when you put it back on. So once we take the tape off here, we see there's some more tape that's holding down the connector and we'll get to that in just a little bit. Okay, so for the sake of time, I'm not gonna lift up the other two pieces, but when you're doing this at home, you need to lift up these other two pieces and put it on the side. 
So the next thing we gotta do is release the connector. Okay, we will put the tape like so. Until it's released, and then once we look at the tape, we just push the connector back like so, and the screen is released. Okay, so the next trick for this screen, the part number for this screen is LP140WH2 parentheses, parentheses TL parentheses L2. Now, normally for most screens, you just need to know the LP140WH2. But for this particular laptop, I'm getting a peculiar problem, which I'll tell you about. So, we have two new replacement screens that I'm going to show you. Okay, so we have a replacement screen with a part number LP140WH2 TLA1, almost the same identical part number except for the last two letters. Now, normally in just about any other laptop, it wouldn't matter, the screen would, will work person perfectly and there will be no difference. But for some reason, when I put this screen in to this laptop, the images on the laptop come out as negative. Like you take a color photograph and you take the negative of it, that's what it looks like on this screen. So I'm not quite sure what's going on, but I do know you have to be careful choosing the right screen. So you either have to find a vendor that will give you this exact part number, which is TLL2, or what I found works is a screen from a from a different manufacturer that's supposed to be 100% compatible and it's B140XW02. Now if you see they look almost identical, the connectors in the same place and the mounting tabs in the same place. When I put this screen into the Sony laptop it works fine and looks perfect. So and then once again this one is B140XW02. Okay, so when you look for a screen, you can either um, go to Google or eBay and look up this part number, or we can sell this screen for you also, and we guarantee compatibility for you. Okay, so enough of the promotional pitch. So next, what's, what we need to do when we put a new screen on, is of course take this adhesive tape off, this foam cushioning tape off, and put it on the new screen. And when you put it back in, the tape is supposed to cover up part of the connector. So what you have to do is put the tape partly on to about here, put the connector on and put the rest of the tape in, and then carefully put the screen in and reverse the procedure and you should be good to go. So I uh, just, the tricks are for this laptop once again, make sure you take the battery out, extremely important. You have to lift up the adhesive tape to get to the connector. And the last trick is make sure you have a compatible screen because screen compatibility is a little, a little bit more complicated for this laptop than most other laptops. Okay, uh, that's it. My name is Eugene Hanwardkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.